Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a new album review. It's Friday, the day we look at new albums. And today we're going to, it's a bit of a prog new album day today. And we're going to first kick off with one of the first pioneering prog bands still going today, and that is Yes. Uh, and the new album, a Mirror to the Sky. Now, this is their 23rd third album and it was released on the 19th of May and it's the first drummer with American drummer Jay Shellen who became a full time member after the sad death of Alan White whom this album is dedicated to so the lineup of Yes at the moment is Steve Hallon guitars and auto harp and backing vocals Jeffrey Downs on the keyboards Billy Sherwood on the bass John Davison on the lead, and Jay Shellen on the drums. And additional musicians on here is the famed studio orchestra conducted by Oleg Kontranko, and PK Joyce does the orchestral arrangements. So the first track on here is called Cut From The Stars. This, unfortunately, this is a far cry from the heyday of yes. It's a very ordinary sort of track. Nothing wrong with it, there isn't. Um, don't get me wrong, Jay Shellen doesn't drop a beat, but he's certainly not an Alan White or Bill Bruford. He's a very melodic rock drummer, more than a, a prog drummer, I think. Uh, Kit Jeff's keyboards are okay. Apart from that, it's just very, very ordinary. I was a little bit disappointed with that one. Um, second up is All Connected All Connected this is more like it this sounds like a proper Yes track it's got some really great guitar twiddly bits as I call them from Steve Howell Jeffrey Downs is the keyboard sound good but it's John Davison's voice it doesn't he sounds like John Anderson but it hasn't got the power of John Anderson, but on the on the whole, musically, this sounds like a yes track. I was I really like that one. Then we get Luminicity, another track that's not very memorable, although there are some sparks, i.e., Steve Howe's guitar work. He's still as good as ever. Um, I can't take that away from that track. This just listening to the um Steve Howe stuff. If it wasn't for that this track would just be dull and flat. But it does Steve does give it some give it some credit. Living out the their dream I just can't connect with this track. I I, I struggle. It's nothing special, except for, for, for the amazing guitar work of Steve Howell. It's, it was it's so disappointing. Then we get the title track, Mirror to the Sky. This is the best track on the album, without a doubt. Lots of good elements on here. Great bass line from Billy Sherwood. Uh... I like that. Um, even the drumming on here sounds pretty good. But it's just dominated by Steve and Jeff, to be quite honest. Great, amazing guitar licks. Some great keyboard um, runs from Jeff. Really strong song. Um, Circles of Time. This is a nice track. I don't mind this one. Again, lovely guitar work. Even John's voice sounds good on this. It's a pretty solid track. Uh, then we go to Unknown Place. It's a listenable track, but it just doesn't sound like Yes. What I remember, what I like of Yes. One second is enough. I just didn't cut the mustard. Oh dear. Magic Potion's just nothing like a Yes song. It's wishy washy, it's a bit poppy in places. Very disappointed end to the album. 
The best thing about this album, though, is Steve Howell's guitar playing. Still a fantastic guitar player. Um, there are some tracks that do show resemblance of the Yes track. I mean, the drumming, it just doesn't sound the same. It's more melodic. Um, I mean, big. you have to follow big boots, don't you? Alan White. It just doesn't sound it. The percussion just... It, it, I was so disappointed. Um, now, it, did the, it just doesn't sound right. The engine room, you know, when you lose Alan and Chris... Brilliant. I mean, Jeff Downs is great. He's an excellent keyboard player, um, and he fits into this band perfectly. He's in the same sort of Rick Wakeman mode. Um, uh, I just want to say, I, 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 it's an oak. It's not a brilliant album. It's not a bad album. It just sits there, really. It's okay. I think it's a, this is better than the last one. No, I think they're on level par. Um, I will be doing a uh, tier ranking of yes at some stage to include this, but I don't think this might even make my top fit. I just don't know where it'll fit. I've got to give it a more listen. But... I was quite disappointed in this album. Um, it just doesn't sound the same anymore. I mean, normally I say, oh, you've got to move on, but it's moving on and moving on. And it's put it this way it's an album I probably won't reach to a lot. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking a 5 out of 10 purely on Steve Howell's playing and Jeffrey Downs. Okay, that's that one done. Um, next up will be a Canadian uh, prog band that has got a connection to Yes. That's Mystery, because one of their ex-singers, Ben Ware David, David um, used to sing with Yes as well. So I'll be looking at their new album next, so bye for now.